Okay, so we just finished the first assignment from, you know, or the first part of the assignment for assignment number four. We're moving on to the second part. So uh, when I was a kid, my mom used to bring home dot matrix printouts of ASCII art for my sister and I to use as coloring books. Very cute, Snoopy. Uh, for this question, we write a program, ASCII art.c, that takes a PPM image as a command line argument and displays it as ASCII art. Okay, so build as usual, run by giving it a PPM file and it will print out the ASCII art, okay? So we must have a mapping between pixels and ASCII characters. If we did this to smile, we would get a smiley face, I suppose. Um, <clears throat> okay, step one, for each RGB pixel, compute the average intensity according to the following formula. I wonder if we need to use integer, right? Because this, you know, you could get into floats or you could use integers, and I'm not sure which one we're supposed to use. But then assign an ASCII character based on the intensity, so given by this chart, and so uh, then submit. Okay. Here is the implementation that I came up with. Yep, this is the ASCII image file. Here's the main method. It's got arguments. Um, and so you can see here what I did to implement this. And so let's uh, comment it out. Step one is we need, <laughs> we need the file name, right? Because that is what the user is passing in, right? Where's where was that? Yeah, so you just pass in a file name as an argument, command line argument. So that's what we need. I guess um, we should check to make sure that the argument is given, which means that we need argc equal to two. So if argc is not two, then I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. If, yeah, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do if it's not there. But in any case, uh, I think I'm just going to print uh, what we saw in a previous thing, which is just to print the usage, uh, which was like this. And and then for everything, for every argument that was given, we simply print it. So for int i equal to zero, I don't know that this is what we need to do, but I'm doing it like this. So argc um, i plus plus print f percent s space taken from argv at index i and print a line break. Not that this will ever come up. But now we know that there is a single argument and, um, and so we can try to basically pass it into the uh, read ppm function that we wrote before. So we're going to go ahead and say that um, what struct ppm pixel p or let's call it I don't know pix map and it should be a pointer is equal to read ppm from the file name given at argv bracket one. Oh right and it also needs parameters for the width and the height so let's declare int wh and give it the addresses because it accepts the addresses in order to mutate those values. Okay, so now WH should be filled with the width and the height of the pixel map. Pix map should have all the pixels. And then what we want to do is print a line, you know, in a sense for every pixel. So, <clears throat> But so maybe just go ahead and jump into a double for loop for int i equal to zero, i less than w, i plus plus, for int j equal to zero, j, oh, oops, that's supposed to be height, j goes up to the width, j plus plus. And what I want to do for any given pixel is print f. Then it, here's where we need the conversion from a pixel to a uh, ASCII character. So um, the way that I thought, like I, you know, whenever having to do this with like this big mapping that's based on like ranges of values, I always tend to do it like this. So we know the values have to be 
at least zero. And so I don't even need to check that end of things, but I'll say if, um, oh, right, we need to compute the intens intensity anyway. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna try it as a float and see what happens. So if we say, and I don't wanna declare it over and over again, not that I think it would cause a problem, but uh, so intensity, so I'll just call it intense. And then um, we'll compute intense equals um, the pixel. I might as well grab the pixel. I'll be using it a lot. So let's say that there's this struct ppm pixel p. p is the matrix at co or the pixel map at coordinate i times w plus j. And then we can compute the intensity as p p dot red plus p dot green plus p dot blue, all divided by 3.0 so that it'll be a float. <clears throat> and then, uh, so now that I have the intensity, I say if the intensity is less than 20, uh, maybe I'll even say less than or equal to, I guess. Um, so if the, not like with floats that almost, you almost never get equality, but whatever, who cares? So um, if the intensity is less than or equal to 25, then I am going to print uh, the char given by, or right, why, why would I bother with that? Why not just print F the char directly? And what char is this supposed to be? The at symbol, I think it was. So when it's, yeah, for very low intensity, the at symbol. And then what I do next is I say if intense is less than or equal to the next upper bound, 50. Now this might be a pattern that is a little funny, like why does this work or does it work um, to get you within these ranges? And so I'm gonna use the hash symbol here. And yes, this will work, right? Because basically, if the value is between 0 and 25, this condition must be satisfied, and we do this. Oh, right, but I do need an else if, right? So every one of these will need an else if. So, um, so if the first condition is met, it will fire, and nothing else will, because I'll be using else's to structure them. But, uh, but if it fails, then it'll come up here. And if the value is between 25 and 50, then this must occur, right? Uh, if, so if it's between 25 and 50, this will not occur. This will be satisfied. And so this occurs. And likewise, as you go down the chain. So effectively, I'm just going to take this, copy it repeatedly, uh, and fill it with the various values. I might as well go ahead and split screen this so I can copy over my values. So the first one was 25, then 50, then 75, then 100. I think it just goes by 25, so right? Yeah, okay. So that's 125, 150, 150, 200. 25 and uh, th and then this one when I get to the final case uh, I can in fact actually just say else with nothing right just just else oops like that uh, because right by the time you get to this case right if it's not less than 225 then it must be in this range so but now I need to change all the characters that get printed so it goes hash percent, now is a good time to learn that if you want to print the percent symbol, then that's the easiest way to do it. Percent percent. It needs an escape character because remember, percent is used in format strings as like a marker for like decimals and floats and other things like that. But what if you want to escape it as such a sort of meaningful marker? It's percent percent. Okay. Uh, hash uh, percent star O. Uh, semicolon, colon, comma, dot, white space. Um, not sure there's anything else to do. Oh, well, and of course, anything that you malloc, right, because it is my job as the user of this thing to free it at the end. So let's do that 
uh, now. Yeah, that's the only thing I malloced, basically. So I should go ahead and free it at the end. Free pixmap and null the pointer. And I don't think I did anything else. So that, in fact, might be everything. Let's try it out. So we have to say make. Uh, let's uh, enlarge the screen here. Make. And then what it was ASCII image or something, right? ASCII image is nice. It compiles. Didn't find the file or so or oh right <laughs> no didn't have uh, the image argument so ASCII image oh I think the first one to test was actually the VP ASCII.ppm right and this is all printed because we told it to print in the read uh, file, which maybe we should not, maybe we should have only done that in the test file. And if I took it seriously enough, I would do that, but I'm not going to bother. Okay. In any case, um, so I should, right, like this should get me the matrix, um, right? So we checked all that. Um, we use the file name with width and height, collected all the data, uh, float intensity, struct pixel PPM or whatever, uh, pixel and oh and one thing that I will want eventually not that this has anything to do the, with the bug but I'll want a line break <clears throat> corresponding to line breaks in the pixels well you are nat naturally su suspect uh, index out of bounds error in a situation like this oh did I not oh I didn't return to zero that might have been it nope that wasn't it I did close the file in the read thing right I feel Almost certain I did, right, by the end? Ooh, ooh, that's probably what it is, is I freed the matrix, but the whole thing was that you're supposed to make that the responsibility of the user. So that free and null probably was the problem. Yeah, okay, oops, there it is. Okay. Um, Let's compare the results against what we should get. So at hash at colon at hash at colon uh, at semi at 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 semi at 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 percent at yep and colon at at space very good. Let's try it with smile. Smile masky. Oof man that looks good. There's the smile. I'm happy too, bud. Um, okay. Uh, and do we want to see what these mystery files contained? Uh, go big screen. Okay, we're going to see an image. What is this image? Some kind of like, I don't quite know what it is. You're a wizard. Ah, cute. <laughs> Uh, okay, and let's do it again with Mystery 2, just for fun. <laughs> okay, very cute. Uh, what is that? Uh, animal of some sort. Um, and a uh, uh, box with uh, ooh, something like text. You're, you've got skills. <laughs> very flattering, thank you. Um, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I think we're done.